Now let's go over to Nightmare Before Christmas in Harvest. Jason. Oh, I was going to do that. Right. This is fantastic, right? We all know, so hopefully everyone has, has heard uh, or seen for their own excitement, the excitement that came when we introduced the Jack Skellington Pumpkin King Warmer. This took the market by storm. Uh, I will tell you a fun story, but but first of all, we sold 94,000 of these bad boys in 24 hours, and it would have kept going. So we know this is going to be a big one. So we brought it back for all those customers that didn't get this one and that they want it or that they want to give it as gifts. So, so go out, market this one away as well. This one, so for uh, that you have not seen, it is just phenomenal. The funny story that I'll tell you is uh, actually we had an employee, one of which uh, sitting right there, um, and he was actually going out looking at all the excitement. And so we searched out this warmer, and there were some people that were kind of dogging on uh, direct sales and, oh, it's all like pyramid schemes and stuff like that. <laughs> the comments are like, wait, have you seen that warmer? Oh, yeah, I got two of them. So it's, <laughs> it's absolutely amazing um, at, at uh, the appeal of this one. And uh, like you hopefully have seen, too, the dish has got the uh, decal on there. You got zero in the back, which we oh, just projecting. Oh, he was yeah, yeah zero. Oh, there we go. There's zero. He's in the back, uh, but we will talk a little bit about that one. But we are bringing this one back. It is the same warmer that we had the last time. All right, Jason, take it away. Okay, so with with that warmer, I, I was telling a story in, in the graveyard where he's just about to don the, the the pumpkin head and become Jack the Pumpkin King. But, uh, and, and that, that is that moment in time. We wanted to do a mini warmer that, that highlighted the same uh, kind of story moment, but with a, with a new twist, new interesting little detail. So I'm gonna show you here. Here is our mini warmer. We've got a black base so that it's separate from this tombstone. It really allows this tombstone to be its own thing. So reminiscent of the Pumpkin King Jack Skellington warmer, it's the same shape but we've, we've added a whole different posing and story moment in here. So, whereas on the big one, we have projection of zero out on the outside wall here. I brought him into the ins to the actual sculpt here, where he's actually curving around the warmer and up, up to Jack and has this warm moment of like a boy and his dog kind of licking him and, and, and he's la Jack's laughing about it. And when we look over here, here's the pumpkin. So this is kind of the moment just before in the big warmer when he's getting ready to put the, the jack-o'-lantern uh, head on. So it's kind of just a little moment. And then one other thing that I wanted to do for a little variation is the topper. It's, it's generally the same shape, but I use different elements. So on this one here, I had the moon with the bats. Over here, since I couldn't do the same kind of uh, decal in the wax dish, I put the three pumpkin faces into the wrought iron. So it's still bringing some of that story element into it in a slightly different way. So if you have both of these in your house or whatever, it's not a direct uh, scaled down version. It's a whole new little nuanced story. So I'm going to turn this on. i switch it here. <laughs> so on each of the sides here, let's see if we can get the light right. Can we try to get the light? I think the camera's not picking it up. And then on the sides here, what we have is the... Zero's doghouse. So I'm going to try it. Light on. No, it's still blowing out. So Zero's doghouse, and then that's where he's coming from. And on the other side, we took the iconic scene of the spiral hill with the moon. And this glows beautifully when the, you know, when you're viewing it. But this camera's just not picking it up. So it's got these really soft glows on on both sides of this here. Inside, it's going to have some orange. Uh, glaze in there to mimic the glass dish we have in the other, and then the three vent holes in the back. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, now if that was not enough, we will also have Jack as a buddy. This will be a huge seller as well, so we've got Jack as a buddy. Um, the, uh, the pack goes in his back, right in here. So you just pull up that uh, his coat a little bit, but he looks absolutely amazing. Now we had 
one bar and one fragrance uh, for the uh, harvest collection in the nightmare before Christian Christmas offering before. And this will be the scent pack fragrance in Jack's obsession. That same amazing fragrance that everybody went nuts over. Jack will be uh, fragranced in that Jack's obsession in, in a scent pack. So the scent pack will be brand new as part of this offering. So he's got like his little scent coattails. Just fantastic. Okay, now we could not. Show speed. Oh, I thought so. Okay. Oh, so yeah, he's got those tiny little. Uh, tiny little jazz. Yeah. And then we got Scentsy there. Okay. Now we've got Sally. You can't offer Jack without Sally. So Sally is right here. She's got corduroy hair. She's got her patchwork. As I talk to consultants about what we should offer, um, and the extreme Jack Skellington fans, right, Nightmare Before Christmas, one of the things they talked about was, oh, you've got to do a bunch of stuff in Sally's patchwork, because those fans just absolutely love that. So here's Sally. She looks fantastic. You can kind of see she's got, like, her stitching there. You've got Scentsy on her feet as well. And then same thing for the scent pack. You just pull up her dress a little bit, and the pack is in there. But you kind of look at her face. She is adorable. Okay, and Sally will be fragranced in the new fragrance, Halloween Town, which will be in bar form as well as a scent pack that will be hard bundled with Sally. Okay. Show the labels. Oh, labels. Yes, and I'm going to share my screen. Once again. Now, one of the things that we did with, uh, I guess, first start with Nightmare Before Christmas. So this bar was the only bar and the only fragrance that we offered in Nightmare Before Christmas offering. And you know, it was phenomenal. Like thousands and thousands in clubs. So we're still selling boatloads of this stuff because it is such an amazing fragrance. So we are going to offer that. Now, one of the things we found when we offered Star Wars and we offered the different labels, we had a 5X uplift of wax sales because everyone wanted to collect all four of those labels. So we're doing that same thing with the Nightmare Before Christmas. So what you'll see is these are the four labels. And no, I'm not going to show you this one because the only way you're going to see that one is when you see that. And that's when you can start sharing it on social because that's what we saw expand before. So that get all four, these are all in the same fragrance, but you'll see that there are four different labels for the Jack's Obsession. Same fragrance as it was before. And then we've also added a new fragrance, which is Halloween Town. And again, four different labels. One, which I'm not going to show you, but I will say, those labels are phenomenal. They're absolutely amazing. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, also huge following. This is by far, like, well, Disney will tell you this is their number one, number two property in all of Disney. So the market of Nightmare Before Christmas is huge. The fans love it, and they are definitely engaged. Uh, so pretty much a new fan base for us, but they will love it. Okay. Uh, what else? Anything? We covered it. Okay. Well, let me stop sharing. How are we doing on time? Because I, I wanted to uh, make this. Oh, good. It makes me do. Oh, hey, we're like 20 minutes. <laughs> we can talk about the weather from now on. All right. Okay. I think that's it, but I wanted to make sure that uh, you all met Jason. He's fantastic. Um, and uh, don't tell anybody about him because he is the reason that uh, a lot of this stuff is successful as it is. We are so excited for you. We love you. We miss you. Sorry we couldn't come to SFR and uh, be there in person. But anyway, here's a big hug. Ah! Okay. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you later. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you later.